Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's event is on an Evo and Aquagon of Brain Attack Wave 2 from 2013. So on the front of the bags here, which just about like Wave 1, same decoration, the logos and everything, and of course picture the sets that come within, and also the names of each one, and also have Evos of which saying 400 game points for the online game, but also how Wave 1 of which had a laptop right there, but on this one has an iPad on there since at this time uh, smart devices were starting to get more common and efficient, of course. Then Aquagon of which says uh, times one brain bug, of course, and they both are stepping on water, of course. And on the side of which is the age group, set number, amount of pieces. And on the back of which, see another picture of each set and how they make the combination models and the actual size of the uh, masks and helmets and also the, how to use the codes to the mobile app game, of course, and usual warnings and everything. Yeah. <coughs> and now onto the manuals, which same pictures that are were on the front of the bags and everything is a little extended version of the main comic strip that there was for, of the brain attack and of course first time of seeing manuals with this thing in the this little comic strip in them and of course did a little differently in other sets as well yeah. on the back how to win on the online survey Last wave to feature this version of it with Evil Wing Kid, of course. <coughs> and then Out of Lego Club, and Out of her, the Brainify app, of course. And then Out of the Combination Model that they make. And then also the online and app game that there is. And then the pieces that, that come with the set in the last building step. And then there's Add of Dragon Ball and Add of uh, Stormer and Frost Beast, of which next, next throwback Thursday and Dragon Ball Surge, next one after. Combination model again. And then a uh, Hero Core piece that used for both for the online app games of which. And then the uh, Brain Bug. And or the Brainify app game, of course. Then the pieces included with the set, and, and then the last building steps. <coughs> and first of which is Evo. So as you can see, from first glance, you can see it's he's pretty much quite just about quite the same as like Evo Breakout of course but just with a few things swapped in here and there of course but whereas for the legs of which instead of using uh, five length armor pieces instead it's just uh, four length uh, armor pieces and also with longer limb pieces as well kind of interesting And also the sphere thing, which was on this arm, but now it's switched arms, of course. It also has two yellow hand pieces, which we didn't see with the last two versions of Evo. And also, uh, also have the typical uh, chest plate piece that all the heroes in Breakout all have with the clamps and everything. But of course, nice to see these in e in yellow for him. And of course, this chest plate piece carried on into Generation 2 Bonacle, of course. But one different thing with him, this version of him is does have a four length armor piece in bright translucent blue. Quite n cool and nice for Mock King, of course, which Frost Beast also comes with, of course. And also, you get two of the like 2.0 spike pieces in yellow, of course. 
I guess this one probably to complete the Trident Staff, of course. And so, so anyways, for on for the head, oh wait, as you can see, then I take that off. See, same headpiece as all the hero set, as all the sets of this line, of course. And the helmet of which looks just eerily similar to that of Evo Breakouts, of course. Still with the vents going on, just like with Evo 2.0, of course. But except a little melded a little bit just to fit the visor piece over. All right. And also, whereas he and Stormer of this wave... I would now have this visor piece, but in blue, trans blue. Quite no, quite cool and nice to have for mocks, mocking, of course. And as for this trident weapon, which kind of interesting to see, which as you see does have yeah one of those pieces like we've seen on Pyrox and Stormer Inferno XL, of course, and also with these uh, fire villain blades can like twist down and can spin around of course so quite nice feature and also to help propel him through the water and of course water being the sewers of Maka Hero City of course and on his back as you can see does have the shorter length torso piece, or is the shorter length torso piece, which still per wish he would have had the long, narrower, or larger ones with the ball joints in them. And if you wonder what this random technic bit is for, is to, of course, fit his trident on it, if you so you can like display him without it. Which Although it kind of bit works out, or unless if he like had it downwards like that, yeah, but yeah, not much else left to say. But at least he, which all right for that. So I guess that's it with Evo, and now on to Aquagon, which as you can see. One of the only water, only other water villain we've ever got in Hero Factory, which, unlike with Jobley and Breakout from the last wave, and of course, there was the cancelled wave called Rampant Oceans, which would have been great if, the, if that was a wave of sets as well, but whatever. So, as for the legs of which, as you can see, <coughs> that's the feet. Just the simple black paraka feet and also the like mini paraka spines from the Voyanui playsets, of course. And the big highlight of him is these little limb pieces here, but in yellow, of which great for mocks, of course. And similar pieces to that of what Evo had for the legs as well. And basic chest plate piece for his uh, torso piece and all. And for the arms of which, same piece is going on. And also, get the size 3 armor pieces, but in translucent blue, or dark trans blue, of which nice to have, great for mocks, of course, which we also see on some of the Chima billable figure sets of also of this wave, of course. But also, these like spiky do pieces, and also these larger ones, great to have in this color and nice for mocks of course and also and it comes with not one but two of these uh, new sword pieces the new sword pieces but in semi trans blue color which nice for mocking and also what uh, Chi Laval of this uh, that was also out at this time also had and, and of course, well, for the main feature, which is, as he does have the same kind of bottom part piece like what Breeze Breakout, Breeze in the winter in Wave 1 also had, is that if you like attach them like that, then he has double blade to it, which quite 
kind of cool and whatnot. And as for the back of which, there's nothing at all, but except for another one of those pieces, which is a little different than some of the other uh, brain attack villain sets. I would incur. And as for his face plays piece of which, which is still kind of fish like, and of course, like with fins around and little scaly texture in there, of course. And taking that off. And also get the brain black piece, but in tr uh, dark blue, which is quite nice and all. And also, he and a few other sets of this wave of, do also have. The same headpiece, or the headpiece of all the sets of this way, but in dark trans blue, which is great for mocking, of course. And of course, just about like all the other villain sets, of course. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, these I think are quite good sets for Brain Attack Wave 2. Like quite small with plenty of stuff to offer and all of Evo of which he, he may be a little bit too similar to Evo uh, Breakout of course. But if I were like, I think let the foot feet be in yellow. Which I think would have been even nice better for him. But I think that's just me. Although you can add that on if you wanted, but yeah. And Aquagon, which I think he could have had a little bit of work to him. Like these pieces in yellow, of course. But whatever. Or a little more trans blue would have been nice on him, but yeah. But although, it would, even though they are kind of the water range of this wave, just like in Breakout Wave 1 or whatever, but yeah. But at least a few good recolors of pieces added to that. And although Aquagon, which may be kind of small, have a small piece count and everything, but at least he has plenty of it to offer. But yeah. <coughs> and so now, if you all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.